What's up everybody? It's your girl. Welcome to China and welcome to my channel. And you can't have whatever you like, T.I. and Tiny, because y'all is in trouble again. Y'all, we got so much tea to get into today, but go ahead, hit that subscribe button because I'm on my way to 500 subscribers. Y'all already know the deal. Help your girl out because people have been hating in the comments. Anyway, y'all, we about to get into this drama with T.I. and Tiny. Apparently, Lisa Bloom, which is one of the most renowned Hollywood lawyers who handle all these assault cases, has taken on some of the victim, allegedly, cases, as well as their show, The Family Hustle, who's but has been on for like umpteen 10 seasons is suspended now by VH1 and MTV. So this is a lot we have to unpack. But before we unpack it, I'm going to propose a question. With what I just told y'all, do you think that it's something to this? Because I know a lot of people thought before, you know, maybe they didn't and people were, you know, saying that people were looking for clout, but you know, they're getting lawyered up. You know, they're not denying claims anymore. You know, things are starting to heat up some stakes are at claim so i just want to know how y'all feel about that first and foremost because they are mm -hmm, about to get in trouble i think i already told you how i feel so anyway let's get into the lisa bloom situation so if you don't know who lisa bloom is she's one of these renowned renowned hollywood lawyers lisa bloom okay. is the american attorney known for advising harvey weinstein amid sexual abuse allegations and also for representing women whose sexual harassment claims precipitated the firing of Bill O'Reilly from Fox News. So she worked on the Bill O'Reilly case from Fox News. We all know he was an assaulter, allegedly, as well as she worked on the Harvey Weinstein case and she was his lawyer. That is crazy. So I didn't even know that. So that's the T. So they got a big dog lawyer. So usually she looked like she win no matter you guilty or not. You know how that worked. Anyway, so Lisa Bloom has taken on the case, and according to All Hip Hop, says the celebrity lawyer is known for bringing down big stars for paydays, went to her Instagram to announce that she will be taking over legal counsel for an unnamed victim. So we don't even know who this victim is. She captioned the following, investigating T.I. on behalf of our new client. We stand with her. If you have information about T.I., please contact me via my lawyer firm website, thebloomfirm.com, or DM me free and confidential help us get the truth i have said this for a long time the music industry is long overdue for reckoning on how women especially black women are demeaned and abused lisa bloom continued enough is enough so lisa bloom is here for her next win and ti and tiny they need to watch out because lisa bloom she don't she don't take no names but again it's a white lady who's gonna try and go against black people so i know y'all gonna come for me in the comments about that too um do y'all think again i'll put it out there do y'all think this is a race thing i'm so tired of this like oh, question is this a race thing do you think they're gonna get in trouble because they're black or can they just be abusers i mean abusers are coming every color can we stop with that you know i'm gonna say it's a lot of white abusers as well a lot of chinese abusers it's a lot of mexican abusers it's abusers of all cultures so you know i don't think that this is a black issue again I, but i never do right mm. anyway so the next big thing that was coming up with them and i want to know how you feel about that is that a big deal do y'all care about lisa bloom covering this case let me know but the next thing that was going on was huh ti and tiny's show has been suspended so that means they are not going to continue to play episodes this is another wild and out situation they're not going to continue to shoot any episodes so the whole family on hope they messing with everybody's pockets at this point now ti and tiny the matriarch and patriarch <laughs> Anyway, so according to the E! News, it says a spokesperson said, we are aware of the allegations and they are not connected to our show. We have reached out to T.I. and Tiny and as well as state and local officials, given the serious nature of allegations, we have decided to suspend production in order to gather more information. Wow, more information. Last month, the actor's former friend, Sabrina, posted anonymous screenshots, and it goes on to talk about that. So, yeah, this is a big deal. So, do you think the T.I. and Tiny show will ever come back after this suspension? Even if they found guilty, not guilty, whatever. Obviously, if they're found guilty, then their career's over. That's over again. Canceled out. Y'all know the drill. Not for some of you. Some of you don't cancel. You know, whatever. Some people need to be. Some people not. Don't come for me. Anyway, but I'm just like, yo, this is serious. So I don't think I don't think the show is gonna come back after this. I think it would be half the hell in high water that this show comes back. Cause soon as somebody starts tainting shows, just like I was talking about the Morgan Wallen situation, soon as somebody gets suspended from something, you ain't coming back. And when you come back to school after you suspended, things ain't never the same. You get in trouble again, 
or they just expel you and don't let you come back. So mm, I'm just taking it to school with y'all. Take that ass to my child. That's a young thug. Anyway, y'all, I would love to think and hear, you know, what y'all think about this. Set it backwards. I'm just, it's kind of disappointing because, like, I do really, like, love T.I. and Tiny. Not T.I. as much anymore. But I always liked Tiny. And, you know, I liked the kids. I did like this TV show in particular. And it was always nice to see, like, a black family, even through T.I.'s indifferences and his drama. But I always just felt like this was just something that we enjoyed to watch. You know, this was just something that we, like, you know, it made us feel warm inside you know we used to get irritated to we call our dads like tia uh -uh, irritating to you ain't no tiny over there in this short like hey you know y'all don't be disrespectful you know they, they did all that but anyway is this okay do you think they'll get past this and do you think that since they got the lawyer and everybody lawyering up that it's something to it help your girl get to 500 subscribers drop a comment let your girl know and hit that like button. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.